Hey everyone, it's Mandy from Garden and this is Chick Check-In Week 4. We have a really exciting day. As you can see, the chicks are getting just enormous. Lots of feather growth, but more than anything, they're moving around a ton. Really exciting. Today is the last day these chicks are gonna be in this little brooder. As you can see, they're just getting huge. Tons of feathers, lots of activity, lots of curiosity and flapping. So we're gonna move them into a brand new space um, where they have lots of room to uh, test those wings and actually lots of vertical space to get up high and practice flying down. Actually, I think you're about to see one practice flying up in just a second here. Oh, she's thinking about it. So we're gonna move them into a new coop, um, not quite outside, a little bit of a transition coop uh, that'll allow them to practice moving up and down in their space and really flapping those wings and also give them lots of room uh, to have social interactions and then to move out of each other's way as they establish that pecking order. Come with us to see how it goes. So we've converted a spot in our garage into kind of our juvenile chicken coop. And really the purpose of it is, is just to give these babies a lot more room to move around and get strong before going outside. And we added a lot of shelving because they love practicing flying up and down. Um, hens obviously roost, or all chickens roost. So this gives them an opportunity to do that when they naturally want to do. Um, and we've got a food and water dish in here as well as a little heater for them. Um, and we'll keep a close eye just to make sure um, that they're warm enough. It is summertime, so they should be all right. Um, and the way that we're going to tell is that they're moving around in the space and not huddled near the heater. They're doing just great. Uh, if they're huddled near the heater, they will increase the, the temperatures. What do you think, Brownie Batter? What do you think, White? What do you think? And I, actually, that was a really great example of how they're practicing moving up. So it's nice if you do have a spot that you can make into a bigger space, you give them the opportunity to practice moving up and down. Hi, it's okay, we're gonna go get your friends. I'll get your friends. All right, let's go get everybody else. So at four weeks old, the chicks can tolerate an ambient temp of about 75, and it's summertime, so we certainly have that. But I've set up just a separate little heater, just in case it gets a little bit cooler at night. The chicks are able to um, move in front of this, and I put a box behind it because they often like to kind of snuggle up together in a sheltered area. I'll keep an eye out if they're spending a lot of time around the heater, then I'll go ahead and increase the, the temperature overall in this room. Uh, but if they're moving around and kind of ignoring this during the day, then I know I'm, I'm spot on uh, with the temperatures. Oh my gosh, this one's, <laughs> this one is so cute. She's snuggling in my hair. Hi, brownie batter. Hi, oh, sweetie. Oh my God, she's so adorable. 